What's up everybody? So we're back on the shop with another Shop Talk Tuesday build series. We just got done wrapping up the Kukri build series where we did everything from the knife with the, the exposed copper and the new handle profile that I learned from the blade show in Atlanta and then did an awesome leather sheath. You know, this is, that's the one that we just finished. I'm really, really, really happy with how this turned out. Now we need to do something a little different. I want to do something that's kind of EDC slash camp knife style. Now, the reason why I say EDC slash camp knife is because the knife profile is a little bit big for an EDC, but I wouldn't say it's full size camp knife either. Now I've EDC'd camp knives because I feel like it and I want to, and I EDC a lot of my knives. But for this particular profile, and you've already seen the thumbnail so you know what it looks like. What you don't know is that it started out as a completely different profile. This is the profile it started out as. And you might be thinking to yourself, Eric, did you get a knife blank from somebody? What, what, what is this? Because this is not my profile. This was sent to me. Now, it's made out of Pops 8670. A little thick guy right there. Now, the whole point behind this was one of my friends Matthew Rich he's also a co-host on the podcast that I'm on the Knives Templar podcast and he's the second place winner for the viewers part of the 2022 dagger build off so he made this dagger right here that got him second place it is a beautiful dagger I really 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 liked this it was actually the thumbnail picture for my TRE workshop Facebook page for about a month so really like it awesome guy talk to him all the time and he sent me this profile and was like hey you said you like that profile let's see what you could do with it so he told me don't be afraid to trim it down a little bit kind of do my thing with it so that's what I did I used this profile to kind of direct my design for what I made now of course again you've seen the thumbnail so you know what it looks like but this turned into this now as you can see all i did was trim it down just a little bit kind of moved where the finger tool was this little swell that's right here shortened it just a little bit partially because that bad boy is super long on the handle now my hands are not that small i got pretty big hands his hands have got to be bigger than mine if that's that fits his hand <laughs> but we modified the blade just a little bit made it a little bit more of a drop point and then just trim just a hair off the, the belly. We're going to be doing my R-shaped sharpening choil. I think this is going to be awesome. It's going to be a good just all around looking knife. And I'm excited about this. I've wanted to make an EDC for a little while that was slightly different than some of the other ones that I've made. And because I get to base my profile on his profile, this was born. So guys, let's go ahead. Let's jump into this episode. We gotta get this profile refined. We gotta get pinholes drilled. We gotta get bevels ground into this. Get it all ready for heat treat. That's what we're gonna do. Let's jump into it and get this thing knocked out.
So we've got our plunge line jig on here. Now one of the things that I did was I brought it a little bit over the hole for where the sharpening shoil is going to be. A little bit over the hole. And the point behind that is as we go up through grits and sand and all that stuff, it's going to bring that plunge line back just a hair. Just because you got to remove material in order to make things smooth. <laughs> if we went ahead and pulled it all the way back, it's going to make it to where this hole is kind of floating out here. We don't want that to be the case. We want the plunge line to fall straight into the back side of that, that hole that's right there. And so it gives us a nice cool R shape as opposed to just a weird looking hole that's just floating. But what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and start this off by grinding to our center line that we scribed right there. We're going to grind straight to that, put a little you know 45 degree ish bevel on there grind straight to that center line and at that point that line is done we're not going to go any thinner than that on that cutting edge that'll be the thickness all the way through heat treat and then once we start grinding after the heat treat we'll bring it thinner but for right now we're going to go to that thin line right there and then we're going to start bringing those bevels up and for this we're just going to be making nice even pulls when we get into the bevels. Nice even pulls with a little bit of a pull back to us, just a hair. By the time it's all said and done, they're going to be pretty flat. There might be a slight convex to the edge here or to the, the tip, but most of it is going to be just nice even pulls with a slight pull to us when we get to that tip. And that's about it. And basically we're just going to do a full flat grind so it's going to be pretty easy. Nothing too crazy to try and, you know, make happen. So right here, 
you can see we have our line that we had draw, drawn on there for where we want our flats to end we're gonna leave it just shy of that as you can see we have a nice flat grind with a very slight convex going to the tip there so now we just need to replicate that to the other side Alright guys, let's go ahead and wrap this Shop Talk Tuesday up here. So I am super happy with this profile. I'm happy that Matt sent me that, that knife and uh, helped me come up with this design right here. I think it's going to be absolutely awesome whenever we actually get the handle on here because I'm going to profile it a little bit different than what I typically do. And we're going to drop the front down. We've got jimping on the spine right there. For your thumb and then of course that R-shaped sharpening choil now with this this is where I was talking about where the plunge line comes down just in front of it so that when we final grind this it'll come right back a little bit because we'll feather it back and then as we sand it it'll come back even further so I think that this is gonna be an absolutely awesome knife I really like it I like the way it's turning out now, of course, in the next episode, what we need to do to this is do a couple more things to the tang. I want to go ahead and drill another couple of holes here and then hollow grind it just a little bit just to save weight and give epoxy somewhere to go. And then we got to go ahead and get it sanded, heat treated, all of that stuff, get the finish on it and make this thing look awesome. Now, then again next episode is all about heat treat and finish and then the episode after that is all about handle and wrapping the build up i'm going to try and make these shop talk tuesday episodes to where they are three episodes of building the knife and then the last episode which would be the the fourth episode will be making the sheath i am going to be making a leather sheath for this knife as well i really like the way the last one turned out especially now that I know that I can do the belt loop and everything how I want to I'm definitely gonna make a leather sheath for this particular knife right here so be on the lookout for those episodes make sure you're subscribed to the channel make sure you turn on the notification bell so you actually get notified when I release videos this weekend I'm gonna be releasing the video for the complete start to finish of the Kukri build so you'll be able to see everything all in one episode it's gonna be about 15 minutes long but you'll be able to see everything from starting it to finishing the leather sheath so y'all will have that guys that's the end of this one make sure you give the video a thumbs up y'all have an amazing day y'all stay safe out there and i'll catch y'all next time